Welcome to Fort Adams Park in historic Newport, Rhode Island. We just came up through here, the east gate, <clears throat> and you'll notice that the granite slabs down here on the walkway, I've got ribs in those, and those were to help the horses, give them better traction if they were dragging cannons up inside uh, the fort because of the steepness of the ramp. Looking out here, we see this huge parade ground. This parade ground was one of the largest parade grounds of any forts in the US. In fact, you could take Fort McHenry, um, you could take uh, Fort Ticonderoga and Fort Sumner, all period forts of this time frame, and stick them inside this parade ground. That's how big it is. This fort was built circa 1825, at least this version of the fort. There was an earlier version of the fort as well. Here we are standing at stop number four, which is where the officers' quarters are. Fort Adams is managed by the Fort Adams Trust, which is a nonprofit historical group that have been working for many years to restore this beautiful fort. And your ticket, $7 for a guided tour, helps fund restoration of this beautiful landmark. Fort Adams was the most complex fortification in the United States ever built and was built by many Irish immigrants. We are looking in the southeast wall of the fort here. And this is one example of where they're trying to stabilize and eventually restore the south facade, which is um, definitely in, in need of a little TLC. These projects are costly and time consuming and are being done by a nonprofit organization. So it may take them a number of years to put this back together. In fact, these are many rocks that have been removed from the facade and numbered and carefully stored so they could be reassembled. So just the effort to carefully take apart and store some of these rocks so they can put back where they belong is got to be very, very time consuming. As we head out of the main field um, towards some of the outer defenses, on our left here is a tunnel. Now this tunnel, which is a little bit flooded and may be hard to see, would actually lead you underground between this main fort and the next ring of fortification. And this allowed the troops easy to easily move between the two locations uh, safely. And anyone who was in between these areas, an enemy trying to get into the fort would be under intense crossfire. Um, above the second story here looks like a later addition of the fort. The fort was used up and through I think the World War II. Behind me is the fort's west wall. This wall was the primary defense from uh, naval attack. It was capable of holding 117 guns to defend Newport and problems. This massive fort was designed to house 2,400 soldiers in its day. And it had all kinds of services, exchange, kitchen, laundry, quarters, um, you name it. It, uh, it had to have it all. In 1855, the top tier, the uh, west wall had three tiers of armaments for a total of 117 cannons. The deadly west wall had a range, had guns on the lower level that were designed to skip hot shot along the water and strike the hulls of the ship. The middle level was designed to uh, attack the decks of the ships, and the top level was designed to take out the masts of the ship. All in total, typically the 42 um, pounders could shoot about 1.8 miles, and the 8 inch um, guns could shoot about 2.1 miles. All right, we're going to go up to the north wall overlook. Our 
first views here are of Newport itself. And straight out here where those white buildings are is Goat Island, which used to be Fort Walcott. And that white lighthouse is just below the bridge is on Rose Island. And there was a fort out there, I believe it was called Fort Hamilton. You may be able to see some of that. It's difficult to see here, but we're looking across the bay here to Jamestown Island. And that's, that land out there is where there was a third fort and uh, that's still a state park. I'll put the name up here on the right. I just can't remember at the moment. up Fort Adams here today in Newport, Rhode Island. Thanks so much for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the fort. Come and check it out. It's really cool.